This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here to give you the month of June 2020, the reading for the sign of Aries. So welcome to my new monthly readings for the energy of each sign. And these are this particular reading is for June, the entire month of June 2020. And make sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon and rising signs to get the complete energy for you this month. Your sun, moon, and rising work together, and they're your strongest influences. So if you can combine the energy, and many of us have our moon or our rising or our sun in the same signs. So sort of double the energy for that message. Now I've taken my tarot deck and I've divided it into the major arcana here and then this is the minor arcana. So I'm going to shuffle up first the major arcana and pull a card. This is going to be the overreaching energy influencing you this month. The big large energy. That's the major arcana. And then the minor arcana fills in the details. So, let's shuffle these. Pull some cards. One. Two. Three. June sort of has five weeks, so I'm going to pull five cards. And these can be the influence of each week. And they can also be a narrative. So let's see what we've got here. We're starting with the Hierophant for you, Aries. Lovely spiritual connection. Just get all these laid out. Nice. All right, the Hierophant. This is your spiritual journey, your spiritual awakening, your spiritual learning, your spiritual practice, your spiritual tribe. The Hierophant is amazing energy for the, your spiritual alignment. He says it's time to take the classes and read the book and find the mentor and find the group and find how to discuss spiritual growth and awakening with others, with someone else to help you things to learn, things to increase your spiritual awareness and awakening. This is the theme for you, Aries, for June. Your spiritual path, your spiritual, you know, increasing that in spiritual alignment for you. Really nice energy with this. Now, let's look at the details. So they can work all together. I would love how the tarot tells a nice narrative. And you can also sort of look at these energies as each week. So we're beginning with the Nine of Pentacles. This is literally you and your garden enjoying all the benefits of the abundance and the prosperity and the vital good health that is yours. We're starting out with amazing energy here. The overall energy of your spiritual alignment and then the first card. <laughs> You in the garden, having all the goodness. Aries, this is amazing. I know that you have goals and you have things that you want to accomplish. So they're saying in June, let's just start out with some relaxing energy of knowing you're going to get what you want. This is an amazing outcome card. And so this first week, hopefully you're going to feel an alignment. Hopefully you're going to feel that essence of you that is and is able to enjoy these. This is counting your blessings, realizing your life is amazing. Look at the positive details. Don't keep describing what's going wrong and what you don't like and what you don't have. Anytime you focus on lack, all you get is more lack. So let's focus on all the goodies in the garden and all the goodies that you're enjoying in your life. Fantastic energy for you there. Next, we have the Knight of Cups, and he's reversed. So, the Knight of Cups is on a quest to communicate. 
So this is your ability to share your ideas and share your needs and, and express to others what it is you want to have happen. When it's reversed, it says you're not communicating. You're not sharing. <laughs> you're not expressing on an intellectual level and an emotional level what it is you need and what it is you wish to accomplish. And Aries, that's so important for you. You need to be able to help uh, get others to help you. You're not in this all by yourself. So lovingly, kindly speak your truth. Tell other people what you need. This night is extending this cup. So what is it that you want to share with others? What is it that you want them to hear and understand about you that's going to help you move forward? The Knight of Cups, he's emotions, he's creativity, and he's so very much the spirituality, the Hierophant energy. So he's, he's reversed, so it says you're holding away your ability to communicate to others. We're opening that energy up. Then we've got the Seven of Cups. Aries, this is a, <laughs> this is a card you love because these are all these opportunities and they're divinely sent. So it's taking some of the pressure off. You don't have to figure everything out. This is not about you inventing the wheel and trying to figure out all the details. That cloud means it's divinely sent. It's already in alignment with you. Don't let you, you or your ego get in the way here, this shadow side. Let's keep that out of it. Everything in these cups is interesting. Everything in these cups is something that you can explore and try and, and experiment with and play with and see how you like it. It's all possible and it's not overwhelming. These are waiting for you and you can delve in and explore in your own time. But don't wait too long. This is, <laughs> this is right here in the middle of June, right in the middle of the month. So preparing yourself for this goodness and then availing yourself of this goodness so you can enjoy it. Then we get the Page of Cups. All these cups, these are very um, connected to the Hierophant and the spirituality. They're also about relationship and you wanting perhaps a new relationship or healing around a relationship. The Page of Cups is that... Ooh, healing balm after some difficult times. So this is the relief emotionally that you have been seeking. This is connecting with your own unconditional love for yourself. And it's a card of pregnancy, but if you're not seeking to have another child, look at it as the pregnancy of what you want to create. That little fish in the cup that he's focused on that's his creative expression. So going back to your garden and your communicating and all your opportunities, what is the thing that you want to do emotionally that's creatively very, very satisfying to you and also in alignment with your spiritual awakening, your spiritual path? Once you recognize all of this, then you get this Eight of Wands energy of things happening quickly. So by the end of the month, Aries, things are going to happen very, very quickly. And that's nice energy to know, especially when you look at all these other cards. You're enjoying the garden. You're going to communicate better. You've got lots of opportunities, emotional beginnings, and things happening the way you want to quickly. All in that main theme, Aries, of the Hierophant and your spiritual awakening. Beautiful energy there. This looks like a great month for you. So just settle in and relax. Watch your other, your moon sign and your rising sign and sort of put it all together. And you've got your energy for the month of June. And I am here to specifically help you address your life and how you want things to move for you. Have a reading. You know, you don't have to wait anymore. I am here. I've got openings all week long, all month long to help you get your life into alignment with your greatest happiness. 
with all that Hierophant energy. So all the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful month! <laughs> I look forward to seeing you in the beginning of July for your next monthly energy reading. Bye-bye!